my glasses. I'm doing everything in my power not to sing Sia's smash hit Titanium because that's the name of today's color that we're gonna talk about by Benjamin Moore. And what's interesting about this one is it feels like just by hearing the name, okay, we got a gray here, but there is a little bit of nuance that I wanna get into. And more importantly, if you are thinking of using this color, James, the color guy, so like we normally do on Color Quickie, I'm gonna give you some information about titanium, specifically this color, and then we're gonna talk about some other colors that go well with it. So when we're talking about this paint color, what is it? What are we kind of dealing with here? Is it a gray? I mean, titanium, the metal, kind of has a gray sort of silvery quality, and so does this color. Like every paint color, there's always going to be something below the surface something that has a little bit of nuance to it and this color has that yes you have a 68 lrv gray color on a high level let's say an lrv if you don't know is the percentage of light that a color reflects so the higher the lrv the lighter or brighter the color will appear so 68 means it's a fairly light color it's lighter than a mid-tone for sure so it's kind of just in that lighter category which is pretty nice especially for interior painting purposes so what kind of light gray is titanium well i would say that it does lean towards the cooler green side of things. Benjamin Moore does brand it as blue green, but I tend to equate it to a cooler green. Like it feels a little more green to me than blue, unless you bring it into your home and you have maybe a north facing room or strong bright LED pot lights that have a cooler color cast, then you'll see a lot more of that blue. On its own, objectively, yeah, just have that sort of cool green undertone that I really like actually. And we're going to dive into that undertone and let it influence the other colors that I've selected in this video. Now, because titanium is part of the off-white category on the darker end of things, I think that gives it a lot of versatility as a paint color. It means it's not going to be so bright that it just looks white, and it's not gonna to feel too dark for most people because it has that pale, airy quality that a lot of people desire nowadays. What is it that you truly desire? This will make it a pretty solid candidate if you wanted a main color or an anchoring color for your palette where you just stick it in the main areas of your home, like your hallways, your foyer, even your living areas. It's a great choice for that because it won't really bother you because it's very passive and desaturated. That being said, like any neutral especially, there's more than meets the eye here, so don't assume that it's going to work because it's pale. Make sure you test it out before you commit to it, and you do that with a tester pod or at least the color chip. Bring it home and just see it in your lighting before you commit to it. Now, if you're already convinced and you need some other colors to go with it, I got you, of course. Two trim colors. The first one I would recommend is White Heron, which is a beautiful, soft, warm, but somewhat icy grayed out white. It's an interesting white paint color because it looks like it has a little bit of creaminess, but in person, it does feel almost icy and crisp without going too far into the blue Direction. So this is going to coordinate perfectly with titanium because they both have that similarity where titanium it's not quite blue but it's a little bit green and there is a little bit of that sort of frigid quality that I really enjoy and I think the two just go hand in hand. And if you're looking for a more avant-garde trim color, maybe something with a little more depth and darkness, Rushing River would be a very interesting choice. It has that same sort of cool green quality that titanium has, but it's a lot darker. It's like a 30 LRV. So definitely the darker end of mid-tones. It's kind of the opposite. And because it has that depth, it's not gonna feel nearly as neutral as titanium because you'll definitely notice that cool kind of bluey green. And it's a little desaturated. It has some gray mixed in as well, I think. So there's a little bit of a tamed quality to it, but it's absolutely still a saturated color and you will notice it. All right, so that's your trim and your woodwork taken care of. What about other rooms in your home that you might be inspired to paint alongside titanium or even in the same room, just sort of putting different colors together. The first choice I would recommend is Brandon Beige. And it sort of has a similar feel to this sort of golden kind of coloration behind me, but it is muted. It's almost like a tan, slightly green leaning taupe, if that makes sense. A mid-tone neutral on the darker side of things as well. But because we're already starting with titanium, which is an off-white, which is super bright, bringing in some of this depth isn't gonna hurt anybody. I love Brandon Beige because it has this organic feeling to it. It's a little more complex than you might think. It's not just a deep beige or anything like that. That green touch is what sets it apart. And it's also what ties it in to not only titanium, but also the other trim colors, which have that slight bit of green mixed in as well. So this is an awesome choice if you have a room that maybe you got to 
good amount of lighting, or you purposefully are looking for something that has some depth, but you don't want it to pull too much focus, this is a perfect choice. Our second color is a little bit similar to this in a way. Not quite, but same sort of hue. It is a purple based color. It's called Piano Concerto. And I love this color because it's going to be a semi complementary color to the greens that we spoke about. And what's awesome as well is it has a gray quality, so it feels toned down, a little more subtle, but just noticeable enough to really pop. It also has a 51 LRV, so it's lighter than Brandon Beige, a bit darker than Titanium, so it kind of splits the difference as well. So not only do you have an entirely new color to work with in purple or violet, but also a different level of depth being a mid-tone. gives you some flexibility there. I really do believe purples are making a comeback because even the color of the year with Benjamin Moore, Blue Nova, Although it's a blue, it does have a little bit of a violet undertone happening here. So this is sort of doubling down on that violet aspect, although in a little more of a subtle kind of grayed out, toned down purple. And for our third color pairing, speaking of blue and colors of the year, Kensington blue is going to be my choice for my third color pairing. This would probably be deemed as the accent color just because of how dark it is. It's LRV is just around 12. So that's the darkest color we've talked about in this whole video. It's a classic navy blue. I didn't want to lean into one of the purpley blues that are becoming very popular nowadays, mainly because we already had the purple and piano concerto. So I didn't want to go too purpley in this whole palette. But Kensington blue is just a classic navy blue that is tried and true. And you can use it in a variety of different ways, whether it's in an accent room, maybe you're going for a nice nautical theme or something, or you're looking for a kitchen cabinet color that is pretty timeless and still very, very nice in navy blue. This is a great choice. But here's the palette all together. And as you can see, there's a mixture of green leaning neutrals, and then you have some of the cooler colors at the back end in purple and blue to sort of round things out. Altogether, a little more of a cooler leaning palette, but that's fun too. But not everyone likes warm, cozy vibes like me, right? So that's for you guys. And if you want more colorful content, we got a video right over here for you.